Uh, and we're about to get underway here, playing some uh, Mega Man 2, which will be lots of fun. While we uh, warm up a little bit to get started for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Probably play uh, a couple hours tonight, I think. I don't know. Seems like a good idea. Alright, so, the very important prologue. Very tall building. It must be the future. Don't tell anyone to pick normal. <laughs> uh, difficult mode just raises the amount of damage you take and lowers the amount of damage you deal out. So it means you just have to be, you know, more on point with the pattern of the enemy attack pattern for longer. And, uh, you know, I ain't got nothing to prove. Just trying to be casual. The real challenge to me in any Mega Man game, though, is the damn levels. Fortunately for you guys, I'm very familiar with Mega Man 2 and can usually complete it on one... One continue. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, I'm playing on the NES Mini, which uh, comes with one of these handy dandy little controllers here. The cord's like six inches long though. That's hyperbole, but it's not very hyperbole. Dig. Oh, one second. Okay, we are back. Where's the controller? There it is. The drops. We're making the frame rate go bad. Go bad. Every once in a while, these guys will drop a one up though. So, if you're really patient, you can sit here and grind and, and do that, or just get lucky. Mega Man 2 is by far my uh, most familiar of the series. Uh, only this one and 3 have I beaten, you know, on my own, you know, in my own, with my own, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my throat was getting clogged up. No, uh, 2 and 3 are the only ones I've beaten, all the rest, uh, Shoot, I can, like, it's either I can beat them or I can hardly defeat any robot masters at all. I think I could beat one or two of them on four, but short of knowing the order ahead of time, it takes a lot of trial and error to get through a Mega Man game. And, uh, you know. Sometimes a Mega Man game has a way of uh, beating the morale out of you. Uh, before you figure out the the nuances, but then again, it's it's been an awfully long time since I've played really anything other than two or three or Mega Man X one or two. It's been a while since I finished X. I could finish X. I finished X one, two, and three, I think, but not X four. 
and I can't rightly recall too many of the other ones. That was like when 2D platformers kind of fell out of favor for a while, and so like they got weird by making them like kind of. <laughs> I felt bad about that jump the instant I made it. Uh... So yeah, like 2D platformers fell out of favor for a while because everything had to be 3D, right? Thanks to the power of the PlayStation and the N64. Modern gamers demanded full 3D environments and explorable terrain, and and I think it, in the in the PS1 and N64 days, it was kind of a the devs bit off more than they could chew sort of situation. Jeez Louise, that is a precision jump. <laughs> Man, well, I mean, uh, I think my 1cc attempt might already be flawed, though. Hopefully, uh, my moderator, Betts, can bail me out and tell me to start Final Fantasy VII Remake soon. <laughs> Alright. Metal Man's not too big a deal, especially when the treadmill's working with you. I could probably even do him on hard mode. Oh, I gotta charge my phone. It's alright, I got a million years to wait for the power-up screen to go by. Alright, well, metal cuts wood, don't it? This game has also one of the most... <laughs> After part one, anyway, the most straightforward uh, weapon weakness progression, I think. There's a couple of, like, not obvious ones, but, like, since by process of elimination. Oh, also, at this point, easy mode. The Metal Blade is like, you win with Metal Blade. It has a ton of ammo, and can shoot in any direction, shoot very rapidly. There's very little to dislike about the Metal Blade. And it kills the shit out of these times. <laughs> It takes five. Only thing missing from this game is the slide. If only the slide had been invented for Mega Man 2. It was there for three, though. It added just that one little extra dynamic to the platforming that made it just real good. Oh, jeez. Hey, get off me, man. Well, the trick with these egg guys is to let them hit and hatch, and then that way there's a bunch of these little guys to... But usually you gotta try to <laughs> aim it a little better. To where you nail them all with a metal blade right when they emerge. Kinda like that. We're good, though. Mr. Kevin Blaze was over the other day and we were playing this. And, uh. Just about completed it. Oh shit. That's right. These enemies that just jump over you if you just, like, be careful about it. Oh! I said be careful about it. There we go. Made it, like, three quarters of the way through Wiley's Castle. Shouldn't have to go that long, though, tonight. Oh, well, that's... There we go. Yep. 
See, like, I can't ever really figure out exactly how to dodge those leaves. I have the same problem with Airman. That's why I play the game on normal mode like a chump. But yeah, I get the same deal with Airman. He, uh... His, his attack pattern is, like, very difficult for me to navigate. I'm sure there's a way to no-hit, uh, to take no damage, but... Alright. Alright, so this is, I guess, one of the counterintuitive ones. The wood shield is good against Airman, which is counterintuitive, right? You would think that uh, his air power would blow the leaves away. Nope, wrong. This is also the stage when we were little kids that was like, nope, you're done playing this game. You are not good enough. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Took my eyes off the screen for half a tick. Oh yeah, before we forget. <laughs> there, I did it. <sighs> Seriously, though, I can't die at all. Give me a one up. One ups. Grind for one ups using these damn birds. Wow. Did they emerge? Come on. Give me the. Oh. I deserve that. Oh, they're coming from that way now. Oh, well, that doesn't do me any good. Alrighty. Oh! <laughs> I'm out of here. Wow, this guy's this guy's gonna move on. Ooh, I went too soon. Ooh, alright, there was enough gap. Yeah. They hit me with the double one up. They want they want me to succeed. They believe in me, the birds do. Ow. <laughs> birds give and they take it away. Alright, airman. We're coming for you. The game showed us mercy. <laughs> So I'm gonna just bull rush this dude. Ugh. See, like, how do you get away with that without sliding? And I swear I was past it. I just, I can't get around his attacks. The hitboxes on those, uh, on those wee twisters there are weird. Yay, item two. Ah. 
All right, one second. <clears throat> oh, no, not that one. This one. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, well, I guess I was talking shit, because there really is no indication that Air Man should be hurting this guy. Other than his attack pattern, if you know what it is. The Air, the, uh, air Buster, or whatever that's called, does a really good job at hitting him. Even if it even if it only did like regular weapon damage, it would still be pretty good. Oh, that was still that was silly of me. The key is to not hesitate. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's why they call me quick draw. Oh. Why, hello, Brucey the cat. See, the problem is, is for some reason you can't collect items while on platform. Moving platforms are ladders. They'll fall right through you. So if these guys drop anything you want, in this scenario, it basically means... <gasps> wait until... It come back around and grind for one-ups in the meantime because the game's being super generous all of a sudden oh geez okay <laughs> wow all right if you're gonna toss one-ups at me I will get off of the tram all right be cool everybody just Stop dropping one-ups for a minute and let me get through the level. Pro strats. This level's cool. You just keep going up and up and up. I like a vertically oriented uh, Mega Man level. Ooh. Threaded that needle. <laughs> Shit. Bird time. <laughs> nice. This is the ladder. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hit the egg. <laughs> and the E tank, baby. And check this out. We don't even we don't even have to go down. Sneaky deeks, baby. That's how we do. I guess I could even get that too if I wanted, but hell, at this point we're flush with one ups. Oh, that was close. Come on, give me a little bit more health. Just a touch. I'm really not asking for much here. 
There we go. Alright, time to completely destroy a crash man. And we win, yay. <laughs> Maybe I do gotta start playing this on difficult. Crash Bomber. Sounds fucking cool. <laughs> Alright, Crash Bomber works best on Flash Man. Crash and Flash. See, it makes sense. Seriously, what was I on earlier? Really, the only two things that make sense are what? Metal versus wood and, uh... Well, like, even bubble versus fire doesn't make too much sense unless you just think of the bubble as water. Whoa. Hi, Brucey. There's a cat around here. Aha! Ooh, wait a minute. I think I want to do this. Crash Bomber does this. Oh, but I jumped poorly, so that happened. This is fine, though. I don't mind this at all. Alright. Skill challenge. Nice. Do they let us have four E-tanks? They do. I couldn't remember. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Mega. Mega, mega. Uh oh. Alright. Flashman used to be the guy I would go to first. But, uh, Crash Bomber is the weapon that's meant to take him out. Oh, I've. Yeah. Aw, oh, damn it. Hey, alright, I hit him. level. Oh, that's what's bugging me. Oh, okay. keep catching a reflection of something in my monitor that makes me freak out a little bit and think I have a migraine. <laughs> Flush with lives and E-tanks. This went from a dubious run to a sure thing real quick.
Yeah, yeah, this this level just starts right off with, all right, this is what happens in this level. Prepare to die. Oh! That's weird. Sweet.